Okay, let's get one thing straight before we dive in. By leader, I don't mean wearing high heeled shoes, fancy suits, or having perfectly flawless hair. This is not about channeling your inner Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears product. Because I know the word leader, it's not something we as the awesome human beings, the introverts, resonate a whole lot with. But all it really means is the willingness and passion to show up to spread value consistently and confidently. What being a thought leader or whatever, <laughs> that's what people say, really means is simply the knowledge you have when it comes to the specific niche that you have chosen for your business and to the degree in which you master it. And do I have tips for you in this video? So keep watching. A leader is someone with passion for what they do. And what do they do? They help people. It's as simple as that. Let's dive in. Hey yeah, my name is Mia. I am a copywriter and a brand strategist for introverted creatives and coaches who want to step into the cozy pajama lifestyle and wave goodbye to their boss at their nine to five. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Welcome. First, we need to define what a leader is not. A leader doesn't repeat what everyone else is saying online. You know, regurgitating, 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 saying the same stuff, sharing the same how-to articles on how to create the perfect morning routine. We all know we need to wake up early, drink water, journal, meditate, all of that. Don't come for me. I have created articles like this in the past. It's okay. <laughs> but that's not what a leader does. Researching, learning, and repeating is what a curator does. They read up on something online and then they just repeat that information. So here's what you need to do in order to be seen as a leader online. What a leader does is make that information that they found online their own. They add their secret sauce to it. They put their own spin on it. They add their story, their perspective, their unique point of view, their own experiences, and they make it resonate with their specific target audience in mind. So you wanna add your personal story, your personal ingredients, and your results whenever possible when you're sharing information online. That is so much more powerful than just repeating the same stuff over and over again because if people are just looking for that same information they're gonna go to Google and they're gonna be happy with what they have read they're not going to move along in the journey with you as a business sign up for your email list join your community buy your stuff you want to drop the curation and become the artist the one who creates so I'm not saying that you have to create something from scratch something brand new something nobody's ever read before in their whole entire lives it's just about putting your own spin on on the information that already exists out there. And let's face it, all of the information is already out there. It is very hard to come up with something brand new, something completely original, because literally everything has been said before. You're not a pioneer here. You're a teacher of ideas that already exist. So why is it so important to be seen as a leader online if you want to have success, move your butt to that cozy pajama lifestyle, and wave goodbye to your nine to five? Why being a leader is seen as important takes us way back, history-wise. Because as humans, we are programmed to want to join a pack, to seek out a leader, to lead us in the right direction so we don't get eaten by animals and all these other things that people had to deal with back in the day. Someone we can safely learn from. So it is oddly the same thing when it comes to online business. Your audience, they need to see you as a leader in order to want to buy from you, in order to trust you, in order to sign up for your email list and continue the content binge. So in order to be seen as a leader to your audience, you need to know who you're speaking to and how to speak to them and why they should listen to you. People don't follow followers. I know you've probably heard that before, for, but it is true. They follow leaders. They follow a person. They feel they're able to trust when it comes to their specific knowledge in their field, industry, or niche. People need a reason to follow you. There needs to be some sort of value exchange happening for people to want to follow you. This is your knowledge. This is your story, your unique point of view, your ability to teach, and your passion to solve your audience's problem. That's a good enough reason. And being a leader, okay, fun game. How many times have I said Said, leader in this video, drop it in the comments. Being a leader has nothing to do with who you are as a person, your personality, your quirks, your way of living, whether you are quiet, loud, or somewhere in between. You can still be a leader and still stay true to your introverted nature. Being a leader is about your self-identity and how you see yourself first and foremost. It's just about showing up confidently and consistently to spread your unique message in your own way. So it's not about being 
being. It's about doing. Confidence and leadership is sparked by action. It is not sparked by personality traits. So there's that. So what it all comes down to, the secret to success, being seen as a confident introvert leader is really just about taking action because that's where you get the confidence. That's consistency right there. And when you're taking action, you're not limited by your thoughts. It's all about staying in motion, people taking action. A leader moves. Someone probably said that before, but I'm gonna put it right here as a little quote by me. I don't think that's original. See? Putting my own spin on it, kind of. So if you're not taking action right now, you're not consistent, you don't feel you're confident enough, you need to get to the bottom of that root cause of why you're not taking action. You need to understand your self-sabotaging behaviors and how they're holding you back in business and in life. This is exactly what I teach you and coach you on inside Cozy Business Academy. If you really wanna dive deep here and get my support, get on the wait list. We start in October and it is the last round of CBA, which which is, makes me feel all the emotions, but it's such a blast. It is the coziest mastermind on the web. So you'll wanna get in because spots are very limited this time, this very last time. So the first step to taking action is to know exactly what is holding you back. What is that limiting belief? So you wanna do some deep diving into your own reasons why you're not simply just doing the thing that you told yourself that you're gonna do. Another huge ingredient into being seen as a leader online is obviously confidence. Now. What is confidence? Simply put, it is just the belief you have in yourself. It's also the belief that you're gonna be okay regardless of what happens. And remember, you get to choose the thoughts that you have about yourself. Confidence is not, they will like me. Confidence is, I'll be fine if they don't. Don't quote me on this, I found it on Pinterest, but it's very, very, oh so much true. Specifically when it comes to building an online business, building your audience, creating a community, you need confidence confidence to build authority. You need confidence to build a connection, to build trust with your audience, and also for people to want to buy what you offer. You have to believe in yourself for someone else to believe in you. You have to believe in yourself for your audience to believe in you. Think about the people that you follow online and the energy that they radiate. And think about why you follow them. Why did you choose to hit that follow button, that subscribe button, sign up for their email list? Why? Why, why, why? <laughs> it's likely because they're sharing great great information and they're doing it their own way, but also because they have a specific energy of believing in themselves, their content, and their ability to teach that content. Like when you follow people or see people online that share a message, yes, but they don't really seem to believe in themselves or believe in what they're sharing or know what they're sharing. It's very obvious, right? And so you're probably not going to want to follow that person. So energy, belief in oneself, it is honestly everything. It is why people say that mindset is such a huge, huge part of running a successful business. You need confidence to jump outside your comfort zone and grow as a business owner, as a human being. So exuding and having confidence to show up online is really about feeling good about yourself and about the information that you're sharing to the people that you're sharing it with. That's the real secret, guys. That's, that's it. It is simply about feeling good and getting yourself into that good vibe energy. So what can you do to feel good? What brings you joy? I want you to think about this right now. Set a timer for 20 minutes or maybe just 10 and brainstorm what makes you feel good? What kind of activities make you feel good? And then do these activities before you show up online. Write copy for your website or an email or create content. I'm gonna share some ideas with you as well, but this is again something we dive deeper into in Cozy Business Academy, but here we go. Idea number one is to practice a skill in line with the results that you want to achieve. I know it's easy to say, just do it, just show up, just post on stories, just send that email. It's honestly not as easy sometimes, even though we want to, even though we know it's gonna move us in the right direction. And sometimes we gotta take our confidence at our own pace. I mean, I did this when I started my secret blog. I didn't show my name, my face, my anything. It was just me writing online my words. And eventually I got 
got the confidence to show up and come out of hiding, but I had to take it at my own pace. What I'm saying here is practice. Practice something in line with what you eventually want to achieve. So if it's becoming a business owner, a blogger or a coach, maybe you start writing, maybe you start a blog, a secret blog even. As you grow, as you continue to put stuff out there, you are going to be able to flex that confidence muscle. You are going to feel more confident in your words, in your messaging. It's bound to happen, but you have to start somewhere. So start there. Idea number two, remove yourself from negativity. Listen, this is something that I obviously advise that everyone does. Stop following, stop watching, stop comparing, stop reading. Put your head down and focus on your dreams, your goals, what you're working towards here. Especially remove yourself from things or people who bring you down and make you feel bad about yourself. Instead, seek out people who inspire you. Seek out positivity. Idea number three, take a field trip outside your comfort zone every single day. Again, sounds easy, not so easy, but start somewhere. Confidence is the ability to leave your cozy comfort zone at least once a day or every other day. It is to make mistakes. It is to fail and to learn. This is all going to help you flex that confidence muscle. Daring to be vulnerable in the words of Brene Brown and stepping outside your comfort zone is how you're going to bloom, to blossom, to grow. Make lots of mistakes. Yeah, do it. Your mistakes, your failed launches, your failed products, like it's all part of your story and you get to tell that story in your marketing later on, which is a good idea. Idea number three, mastering your niche. Don't worry, you don't have to be an expert in the beginning. You just have to be willing to share what you do know right now. Share as you learn, as you research, as you build up your confidence, but make sure when you're sharing this information that you're also sharing your POV. Gotta make it yours. Start where you are, start with what you know, and be willing to go the extra mile with your content. Don't be a basic Google article. Be more than that, be you. People will recognize you as a leader with authority in your niche, as an expert in whatever field that you choose, and people will trust you the more knowledgeable you are. You're always learning. There's no destination where you know everything and you're an expert forever. There's always gonna be something to learn and also adopting this growth mindset is going to be really, really important as well. There's always something to learn and you can learn anything. You can adopt any skill. If you don't see yourself as a leader with something amazing and important to say, how can you expect other people to? I know this is sounds a bit harsh, but it's true. You have to start seeing yourself as a leader online before anyone else can. You have to start with you and you are you have to start seeing yourself as someone with potential, someone who is worthy of success, someone who can influence and lead people, someone who's worthy of the 5K months, someone who can have the cozy pajama freedom lifestyle. So do you see yourself as a leader? If not, you have to switch out that lens by which you currently view yourself and head to your eye doctor. Do it now because you gotta get that sorted. The strategies of building a successful online business, is, they're really simple, but the only thing that can stop you is your mind, your limiting beliefs, and and yourself. So that's why we're starting here. And this is also why we dive into mindset work. It's the first thing that we do in the Cozy Business Academy as well. So this was a gigantic pep talk, wasn't it? I really just want to bring across the message. Introverts can be leaders too. You can be a quiet leader online, influence the world, but at a lower volume. You don't have to be over the top, excited, hopping on stories, doing lives, doing all of this extrovert Gary V stuff. You don't. You can still be seen as a leader online even though you're an introvert. Okay, you got it? You got it. All right, I'll see you next week for another video. Toodles and cozy business vibes. Bye.